cold out here today. All right, people, I'm at the same place as uh, the first video I made here. This is actually the next day and similar conditions, west wind. It's kind of a more of a west-south wind, I think. Today, the wind isn't as hard. We're on the back side of the front this time instead of as the front is passing. In some ways it's not as good, but one thing that is better is the water has continued to rise. It is up about, about a foot from last night. Not a major flooding event by any means, but it is a water rise. All the combinations of last video got fish to move in here, and here we are just 24 hours later and I don't think they've all moved out yet. Water rise is good, so I'm expecting some of these fish to still be here. I've got two fresh skipjack. I gotta retie my Abbott reel. I busted it off last trip here. And uh, I'm gonna be doing a little experiment. I've had a couple guys mention to me. They want me to try using catfish for cut bait. I figure if the catfish are gonna bite, I'll take the smallest one I can get and I'm going to put a piece on and see what happens. It's a lot colder than last night. I hope the wind stays at a minimum. I'm going to go ahead and get my lights ready. It's about 30 minutes before dark and I'm going to go ahead and uh, retie another shock leader on that Abbott in case I catch a catfish. We're going to use them as bait tonight. I actually got my shock leader back. The only thing I ended up breaking off was the hook. One thing I hate about braid is trying to tie it in the wind. Not an easy thing to do. The knot I'm using is called a crazy Albright. It's pretty much like an Albright, only it's wrapped up and then back. Whereas an Albright's just wrapped one time, one direction. This one is wrapped a couple directions. I hate tying braid. Especially hate time braid when the visibility gets lower. Crazy Albright's what it's called. You'll have to Google it. Because I know the visibility is way down. I'll start working up my fingers. Pull on it. Trim the tag ends. Of course, I'll leave a little extra tag on the braid just in case there is any slippage. Not too much. And it looks like that when it's done. We have lights.
There's bait. For my experimental rod, I'm gonna run this bucket style of rod holder. I'm gonna walk off a point to the left and I'm gonna throw that piece of catfish out and I'm gonna see what happens. Or we're gonna see what happens. There's my bait, a chunk of blue catfish. Could leave that whole or I could even cut that in half and use it as two baits. I'm gonna leave it whole. I cut it in half. This is the back portion towards the back. Stomach portion still left for another bait. I figure most people that would do something like this are people that's gonna fish for food fish and they're not out fishing for 100 pounders anyway. Guy's only got one shad and that's all he could catch all day. He catches a little two to five pound cat. You can get a lot more bait. Question is, does it work? Let's give this piece of blue cat a shot. Got that piece of blue cat on the lucky reel, the Abbott reel. Typical night of dinks. That's all right. It gives us fish for an experiment. Maybe it is still pretty active in here. That's three in a real short period of time. to reuse a skipjack head. I don't have a lot. I've got two skipjack with me tonight.
it's breezy, but not near as bad as the last video. It was blowing my camera over and lights over. Three on skipjack in a very short period of time. It wasn't much of a bite, but I did get a little bite on the catfish. That was bite number two on the catfish. Just wouldn't commit though. Well, I've had a couple of dinky bites on the catfish. I'm gonna make it more of a fair fight now. Four catfish landed on skipjack. I'm gonna throw another piece of catfish on so I'll have two rods using catfish and one with skipjack. Another piece of catfish back out, and I'm going to re-throw that skipjack head out again. must have dropped it right as I said it. Thought I was actually going to catch something on that old catfish. It was a good long run. Maybe it wasn't a catfish. Maybe it was a dag blasted gar or something. 
I actually had my hopes up that time that I was going to hook something on the stuff. Still got two rods with it out. One rod with the same skipjack head that's caught several other fish. There's enough fish out here. If they're going to eat this catfish, we ought to be finding out. Fish on! This fish is way on the other side of a rock point and I got braided line on so I'm going to walk over that way out of the camera and try to get him. I feel my braid rubbing them rocks. Jack, when you got blue cap for bait, good lord. This fish here, he's over 40. <laughs> There's the bait. Piece of blue cap that's been hit about three times. Catching catfish on catfish. I rarely break a camera out, but I'm proud enough of that fish, especially in this place, to get a picture of it. I knew it would be a pretty hot bite. That's why I came here to video. 
and I got to looking at my comments and I've noticed several guys ask me about using catfish for bait. Well there it is. That's a nice fish. One little bitty old piece of blue cat. I knew that fish was a big fish when I set the hook on it, but then he kind of ran into me. Then he got behind them rocks over there. I said, well, let me get him. So I got over on the rocks and I didn't want to land him there, so I let it free spool until he started going out this way. And I had no idea how big he was until I got him to the ramp and I said, oh man, I'll take it. Definitely some rocks out there. I've been catching fish with the same skipjack head all night. I already know Skipjack catches fish. So I'm gonna throw in one more piece of this catfish. Catching catfish on catfish.
Look at that catfish in that catfish's mouth. Well, the bite kind of died down a little bit. The wind's picked up a little bit. Uh, I caught that one big catfish on the catfish, and I wanted to know it wasn't no fluke. So I baited all three rods up with catfish, and I just got this one on catfish. The biggest problem with them mustad demons is getting them back out of the fish's mouth. There it is, man. I've still got a lot of bait left. I'm gonna put this on ice. I'm gonna continue to use it. That biggest catfish I caught tonight was on my lucky reel that's been getting all my best fish. Uh, the Abbott MXJ 5.8 MC. I done a video about reaction braid, 65 pound. That's what I've got on here. Uh, this blue stuff is a top shot of 80 pound Andy Monster Blue. I've got probably 20 something feet of that on. And when that fish was over there in them rocks, that's what saved my butt. Also, uh, that heavy mono keeps me from breaking off on the cast. That knot you've seen me tie the top shot on with is called a Crazy Albright. You can look it up. It's very similar to an Albright, but instead of wrapping up one way, and then back through, it wraps up and then wraps back. It's basically just a double wrap Albright. But I've had good success with that knot. The rod, Akuma Longitude, uh, pick these up for like 70 bucks. I knew a hot bite was gonna be here due to the conditions, due to the flooding. Typically, this place is hit or miss, and it's usually a good place to catch dinks. I knew when to fish it. I made two successful videos here during that time. These waters here are, will be receding by tomorrow, and uh, this place will be nothing but a bunch of dinks again probably for a while. This catfish, it obviously works, or at least the blue catfish does. You hook it through that skin, and it'll take a hammering from small fish till the big fish finds it. I've never killed a fish in one of my videos, not a catfish. And I'm always going to catch and release trophy fish. But I'll tell you what, you ever have a hard time catching bait, you only catch one skipjack for the day, you only catch one shad for the day. If you can't catch a skipjack in a shad, Go out and buy a pack of shrimp. You catch one small blue cat, all of a sudden you got 20 pieces of bait. It was an idea I tried. It works. Hey, caught a really nice fish tonight. This is a video. There was fish in the video. This is Catfish Day with another one, signing out.